Gay life is a war, and believe it or not. Life is a challenge, and boxing is a challenge at the same time. You, you lose, you win. Same, same thing life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Move a little bit. You're gonna say one, two, one, two, three, four, right? These are coach now. One, two, duck, one, two, slip, one, two, back, one, two. Well, I know that he suffered a lot and he deserved to go on the Olympic team. It's like working so hard to become president, and like they just say, oh, you can't become president. That does, that's not fair. I want to be a tiger, I want to be a lion, I want to fight. Always I said, I want to go back to boxing. Always, when is going to be my dream come through? Boxing keep my dream alive. So I get motivated to do one more fight. I must fight again. You're trying to work out so then you'll be in shape in the future. That's suffer for good. Suffering for the good. When you're a fighter, you're always a fighter. It doesn't matter the age, it doesn't matter how long it's been. There's always a party that wants to do it again and feed that kind of flame that's been buried for years. I think it's exciting. We have a nature of fear. It doesn't matter how strong we are. Our body has a butterfly or an anxiety and we have to pass that. Is it okay if I bet money that you would win the fight? Of course. Okay. Welcome to the Sports Arena, your front row ticket to the best in sports talk and entertainment. Great analysis, top name guests, and news you can use from the sports landscape. So take your seats, sit back, and relax. As you, you are, are now in the Sports, sports Arena. Arena. You know what you're capable of. I like this kind of fight. Fix it. You bet you I want it. And here's your host, Eric Wilson. I'm like, all right, let's go. I get, we get lost. I'm like, I need a minute. <laughs> Collect myself. Good morning, everybody. What's going on? Your man, Eric Wilson, here for the Sports Arena. And I have the privilege today of introducing two gentlemen uh, with an amazing story. And I'm going to let them tell it to you. But first, let me give you a, a tiny bit of background here. So the Russian boycott of the L.A. 1984 Olympics shattered many dreams for people, including that of Ethiopian boxer Zeb Zedai, who was unable to be a part of the delegation. Filmmaker Danny Simmons has brought his inspiring story to life in this documentary called Suffer for Good. Please help me as I introduce these gentlemen first, Danny Simmons, and of course, the gentleman who this story is about. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, after you're done today, you're going to want to check this out. Mr. Zeb Zedai. Gentlemen, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Sports Thank Arena. You. How are you? So much. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us, Eric. I really appreciate your time, gentlemen. So I, I kind of just want to dive right into this. And and Danny, let me ask you first, um, mm -hmm. what was it about Zeb's story that inspired you to want to direct this movie? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I met Zeb Zaudi, the, you know, obviously the subject of Suburb for Good in a boxing class. And within a few minutes, I, I consider myself pretty athletic. I was, you know, I, I'm not humiliated. I was laughing with Seb at how much he was laughing at how unathletic I was. And and he was laughing. And then with another five minutes, I think I was getting punched. And I, I, I never worked out and trained so hard in my life. And I was blown away by the exercises and just the warm up alone that Seb put me through as an athlete and, and from that perspective. And then I had never heard his accent before. And I was like, man, where is he from? What is where? What is that accent? And then I think after the class, I was like, hey, Seb, that's your name. You know, how, can you tell me about what, 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 where are you from, right? And then from there, he's like, oh, you don't want to know my story, man. It's only for certain people. And then I was like, I got to know. You know, I got it. You, you hit me, you know. And so that from there, it was just a very, um, a very familial uh, vibe. And it was just kind of a friendship bond uh, was born. And then within the first day, I mean, I brought my little camera and magic happened. I, I happened to know who the, the UFC fighter, Jared Papazian, that he was training. I happened to go to high school with him. So this is very serendipitous and, and it felt uh, meaningful and impactful. And Seb, obviously, his charm, it took me, it swept me right off my directorial feet. 
And, and Zeb, I, I have to ask you because I, I, I actually didn't get a chance to, to watch the trailer of this movie. I'm excited to actually watch this movie. You, sir, have faced so many challenges along the way since 1984 to now, and you have still rose above what the expectation was. What does it mean to you to have your story be told? This is a really a great privilege to share my experience, my challenge, what I passed through. Um, I really, uh, I mean, I was honored to get to give my life to the world, what I passed through. Um, the challenge that I passed through wasn't easy, was really tough. And people, I hope they'll get this message and they will learn something. They'll get something to pursue their goal, to achieve their goal and to be success and my story was really tough and what i passed through uh i really i like to be uh, like to people sh see the movie and they will understand what i passed through then uh, they'll get something out of it from that now zeb i know your son uh is it matai matty i want to make sure i pronounce his name matty yes he's followed in your footsteps so can you talk about some of the life lessons you know that you have taught him along this way as well Yes, Matty is an unbelievable son. He's just, uh, he 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 learned a lot from from my work ethic, and from my what I passed through. I we have great communication. He became very good example for his brother, younger brothers, and also he started even sharing his experience, what he passed through with me, and he shared for his high school students, and he counseled them. And I'm surprised, and he just really really matured son i mean i'm proud of him and he's really uh work ethic still he working hard he go to school and he's still a grade he has a grades and he work full time and at the same time he go to full time work i mean school and to get a grade is, is kind of tough and he's really really amazing son the communication that we develop with him is it just learning um from me and telling me through experience what i passed through really really helpful and other parents and i like to share all also the other parents don't lie for your son just tell them the truth what you passed through what was you did from your childhood all the way from now and share them good experience they will learn and their good ethic and that he has i really am proud of my son and he really really uh, uh committed in hard worker it's really working hard and unbelievable son and I'm, 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 I'm blessed to have him. Talking with uh, the director, Danny Simmons, and of course, the star of the show, if you will, Mr. Zeb Zaidi here on the Sports Arena. Their movie is called, documentary, excuse me, is called Suffer for Good. So, so Danny, I want to ask you, I mean, your production company, Broken Dove Productions, has taken on the role of producing this wonderful piece. How were you able to get Gravitas Ventures and Red Arrow Studios what were some of the key factors in getting them on board to help, you know, facilitate and create this piece? Yes. Yeah, so, great question, Eric. Thank you. The Gravitas Ventures came on after the film was completed in its entirety. Uh, we, we, we did the film festival circuit in 2019, luckily enough before the pandemic. And through that, we got into some film festivals. We, we premiered at one of the film festivals called the Independent Filmmaker Showcase in Los Angeles. So, Seb, we, we did get to go, you know, do sort of like a little bit of a red carpet and have Seb's, you know, movie poster at the AMC, sorry, the Regal Cinemas in downtown LA, sold out the theater. We were nominated for Best Picture uh, for the Audience Award. So, we really out outperformed. I think a lot of expectations at our premiere. And then from there, a month later, we had a film festival called Film Invasion Los Angeles. We once again sold out the theater, uh, won all of the, you know, swept all the documentary awards, won, you know, best, you know, best feature documentary, best, uh, you know, subject, which was Seb. And then from there, I guess there was a sales agent. His name's Glenn Reynolds. And he came about and, you know, said he would like to help us, you know, secure distribution, which was something. You know, I, I came from the, the distribution world, but I didn't know the indie independent distribution and how that works. And from there, he was able to send it out to a bunch of different distributors. We started, you know, fielding offers and Gravitas, you know, came about and we we wanted to move forward with them. So that's that's really how it has been. It's been a really fruitful a collaboration ever since. And they kind of let us be free and, and choose the 
the ways in which we're going to market and, and publicize the film and work with amazing talents like yourself, Eric. And it's been a really cool experience. It's very, it's very much, you know, hands, you know, they, they let um, Seb and I kind of run free and do whatever it is and which even for a major studio is cool. Um, so I, it has that kind of indie feel, but we still have, um, we still have that, that major studio backing in a way. <laughs> That's awesome. And, and and thank you for that compliment. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, one, one, my last question here, and Zeb, I kind of want to give you the screen to be able to talk to the people. Now that your story is out there for the whole entire world to see. And again, the documentary is called Suffer for Good. Please make sure, ladies and gentlemen, you go check this thing out. I know it is on video on demand. It's on, you know, DVD. I'm, I'm sure you can find it. This is a story that, you know, we definitely need in this day and age. What is the message, Zeb, that you want people to take away from this documentary? Message is, uh, number one, is, uh, like I said earlier, to achieve your goal. And most of us, we give up uh, easily. Uh, this is a very true, especially at this time in, in, in America, even the society's its rates going up tremendously. And people that give up and they go a different direction. When I pass through all this kind of situation, this message, this movie really helps them for the people that they can achieve, they can pass that hard time, especially this time in, in a pandemic. And people staying at home, don't have work, financial issues, and communication issues with the relationship with the son and with the family. They have a really, really bad, really bad challenge to have a really tough challenge. So they can pass through if they see uh, this movie. And I say at the same time, when when you're suffering for a little and you're not going to die, just let it go and hold into it, hang into it, and just you will go through it. And I'd like to pass my message for the whole people that who's going to see this movie and just hang it in there. And we'll go, you, you can pass it and just suffer for good, which is that my coach used to tell me, suffer, 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 you go through it. And I, when I run long run for the, the Olympics and I used to give up on like after eight kilometers, seven kilometers, we used to run 10 kilometers. So I was really, I hate running. And he kept telling me, suffer, suffer, you go through it. But, and after eight, seven mil kilometers, if I pass one kilometer, it's harness gone, and I yeah, just cruise. But between seven and eight kilometers, make me really suffer. I give up during that time. If I pass that, I be, I'm able to finish that 10 kilometer. So people that who's going to watch, or even our life, on you know, a daily basis, even you now, daily basis, you have a challenge. Without a challenge, we cannot exist. So everybody has a challenge, but the problem is we're not able to pass that challenge because you give up easy. I encourage for the people to hang in there, to keep on suffer and you'll go through it and you'll be the winner. And, and that's the message that I had. That's beautiful and that's a great way to, to end this interview. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me here on the Sports Arena. The director, Danny Simmons, um, and also this man, Suffer for Good, Zeb, Zwedi, Zwedi, excuse me, um, I, I just, I, I'm so proud to know both of you and thank you again for your time, gentlemen. I look forward to sharing this with the world. Have thank a great you. day. Thank you. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. That's it, man. Your man, Eric Wilson, Sports Arena. Suffer for Good is a documentary. Everybody go check it out. It's a wonderful story about inspiration and about putting in that hustle and that grind and ultimately succeeding. Talk to you guys really soon. Have a great day.